So for this class, I've actually gone for it's an overkill setup, and it uh, it works pretty well for. The, I've used it in ground war, so take it with a pinch of salt that if it doesn't work in your standard game modes, it, mm, then uh, you know you might want to switch it up a bit. But this seems to work across all game modes for m in my personal experience. But I mainly use it for ground war, so just keep that in mind. Main weapon. So I've actually gone for a setup that allows as much green bars as possible uh, to add on to the stats. Um, the optics are completely up to you. You don't have to use the ones that I use. It's completely fine. But as a bit of a guidance, I use this one. This uh, this this barrel right here. You could go for this one, but you see, for the tiny sliver of green, you've got to you've got to then compensate for three small slivers of red. I'm more about having more green. I just think it works. The optics, again, I use this. You don't have to use this. You can use that one. That one seems to work fine as well. Um, but considering we have two weapons, and one weapon is, in my eyes, for medium range, the other's for close range, I'd like to keep this gun having, uh, you know, attachments for the longer ranges. So aim op seems to work absolutely fine. You could even put a uh, viper on, I think. I think that's absolutely fine as well. Um, I've tried that. It's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's it's fine. Um, under barrel, I've actually gone for the foregrip because, like I said, you know you go through some of these and they they just add more and more red on. I suppose that one doesn't actually change anything. To be fair, I mean there's no red on that, but you just wanna you just wanna sort of, in my eyes, you just wanna keep as less red popping up as possible. You know what I mean? You wanna find stuff that has more green. The bipod works before I got this attachment. The bipod was my main go to because when I was in uh, gunfights, I'd crouch, shoot, get less, uh, you know, get more uh, recoil control with the bipod. You don't necessarily go prone with it, but crouching can help. That that can help you if you, you know, if you're struggling for recoil. But overall, I use I use this one, this range of foregrip, just because it's a higher up. But um, yeah, so some some of the attachments, the higher up it goes. They're not actually all that useful. Uh, useful. 50 rounds for me is plenty. Um, like I say, I, I just think, you know, for the extra 10 bullets, I don't want to then start losing control and mobility. So, it's one of them. Uh, the perk, straightforward, sleight of hand. I mean, you could have any of the other things if you really want to, but sleight of hand seems to be the best one for me. Secondary, the org. Um, I filled up all the attachment slots again. So the barrel seems to do quite a lot of, uh, you know, quite a lot, quite a lot of good stuff, uh, compensating a bit on the aim down sight speed. But again, we're not bothered about that. You, I use this. This this is probably, I think this is the best optic to use for this gun. Might be wrong, but for me, it seems to be the best optic to use. Uh, under barrel, I haven't actually unlocked quite a lot for this gun, so just bear that in mind. If you see something else that you think actually that could be better by all means put that on but we're trying to go for quite a lot of stability on this gun um, so a granulated grip and then sleight of hand again sleight of hand just it just means you can just reload quicker in those situations that you think right you know I need, I need speed as much as I can um, so the play style for this gun by the way is you want to use the primary as much as possible and then in those situations where you switch to your secondary and that's the gun that actually keeps you alive. I mean, you're gonna want this uh, this setup right here. So I guess we'll jump into a game, and then we'll see we'll see what happens. I think so this class is it's all completely preference. Um, it's all subjective to whatever you prefer. But as a bit of a, a baseline, this is kind of like the setup that you you kind of want really in this game uh, in this game mode. Because obviously in this game as well. I suppose they're trying to make it so um, they're trying to make it so that it's the pace is slower. So you know you're going to find a lot of campers, you're going to come across a lot of people who are stood still, and yeah. This class, I think, it tries. It, it, I mean, it depends what your playstyle is as well. It does. It does. You know, combat that. Um, you know, you can be at long range with this, then go inside, switch to this gun. Again, that perk sort of helping Reloading, us out a bit there. 
Sensitivity is quite high as well, just to, uh, so I can actually s spin around a bit quicker. <laughs> but yeah, the ground ball works pretty well, so... Enough people like that. So I suppose as well, you want to be using the mount features as much as possible. Obviously not too much in the sense that you're just sat in a corner. Um, that was a terrible aim by me, but... You know, not too much that you sat in a corner aiming at the door, you know, mounting the gun to the table, but just as much that you're, you know, just as much that, you know, you're just gaining that little bit extra stability out of it. There's a guy, probably gonna put some pressure on. There we go. See, so right now, we're just using the mount just to get that little bit extra. Um, and as you can see, it is it does does pretty well at long range. UAV standing by. Tap firing is quite useful as well. So you just not full auto going upwards, but again, it's just a play style that you've just got to adopt. I think. We're taking Delta. But they are getting B. Friendly UAV on station. Enemies taking Bravo. Yeah, so as you can see, like, I'm patrolling C and B. So obviously you don't want to be running around everywhere. We lost Bravo. Um, you know, you don't want to be running all over the map. You just want to stay in control of a specific area. Fine. Any personal radar? Whoa. So there we go. So um, I mean, it's not, it's not the best of our kills, I suppose, but we played the objective. So it, again, it's just it's just adopting that playstyle that you. Did that you feel comfortable in, you know, switching to the weapons when you need and using your features of the map that you, to your advantage.